All right. Now this here is our wash rack, and this is where we'll give our clients a bath. Uh, we use mane and tail shampoo. Nothing too fancy. I, did, I actually have heard of a couple gals on the tour say they've they've used it before. And they say it makes your hair grow faster. Is it true? Okay. Learn something every day. Uh, this here is uh, Chad, one of our hitch horses, and this here is Zach, one of our handlers here. I'm gonna turn it over to Zach. Actually, he's gonna tell you a couple things about our horseshoes and any questions you have for him. All right, well, actually, I work off the West Coast Hitch. I travel all around. Um, we're based out of Fort Collins, Colorado, and we travel 300, 320 days a year. Right now, my crew is in uh, Calgary, doing the Calgary Stampede, and I get to come to Boonville, so it's cool. But uh, that's my job. I'm a handler. I drive the semis and do everything with the horses. We've, we've been all over so far. But, uh, you too? yeah, shoeing process, the horses here actually don't get any shoes on. One of the, hit, the horses get shot. Are the ones on the road. That's because they're on the asphalt and doing all the green. Here, we let their bones grow out for a little while. I think every six weeks, or actually every uh, seven to eight weeks, we get our horses here trimmed up. Uh, the shoe, the whole made out of material, just like your fingernails, constantly growing. It's actually dead material, but that's what protects the whole hoof. Then, every six weeks, we get our horses shot on the road. And uh, this is actually a brand new shoe that's never been on a horse yet. You can see how big it is. It's about five and a half pounds, and weight, or it weighs about five and a half pounds. It's about 22 inches long. I'll pass that around. Any bad? If I can look at it. Yeah, and this is one that has been born to the horse's foot. Uh, what we'll do, actually, the hoof grows. We'll carve it down where we need to be, and then we'll place this shoe on it. There'll actually be a leather pad in between the hoof and the shoe. It gets a little more sole protection because that's a nine-inch gap in the middle of that horse. So that's pretty big. Um, this is drill tech. That's, this is drill tech that we actually forge onto the shoe. That way it grips asphalt a little bit better. And the toe clip, we have to have a toe clip. Some people might have light horses. Does anybody have light horses here? I guess. You guys do? You do? Wait, no. Alright, well, you know, light horses, I grew up with all quarter horses. They'll bring their foot and set it to the ground more. And uh, Clydesdales, they have more of a concussion of, they bring their foot up real high, like a parade look, and they'll actually push it onto the ground and they'll drag their feet. So we have to have a um, toe clip to keep that shoe from sliding back because we don't want to take it out. They have to make all new holes for the, for the nails to go in. And this is one of the nails, pretty good size, that actually goes into the hook. So, looks cool. This is the, the one that's been worn. You can pass that around too. Um, but mating, we give our horses baths pretty much every day. On the road, we give them a, a full body bath once a week. It takes about 30 minutes to do one horse by yourself. It's a lot of surface area to clean. And then, but we'll, and we'll do the whites of the legs every time we have a show. So this horse here, Chad, he pretty much needs a bath every day for everybody coming through for the tours, which is really good. Um, any questions about anything? Or traveling or? Yes. What do you use for protection? Uh, we use this Ultra Shield. It's um, just regular Ultra Shield. Please. And actually, in the bar, there's not too many flies in here because uh, they pretty much have this system in the pipes and it'll, and it'll leak out like spray in the bar. So that's why you don't see that many bugs in here at all. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, Chad, this is the one you saw earlier in your bed, and he's oh. nine years old. Um, we only have like, two gallons on the farm. We have four studs, and the rest are mares, so we pretty much just want to do breeding here. We're not too looking for the hitch horses. We're looking to make the hitch horses, but we don't keep our gelding so long because we're just strictly about breeding and getting more horses. Any questions for Zach? Fantastic. All right, you guys are too easy. Yeah, this was easy. All right, let's give Zach a round of applause. Thank you. Yeah, we have three semis. You guys see them out here. Uh, St. Louis actually just came through. They were leaving St. Louis going to Kansas City for uh, an all-star all game. So we get to do a lot of events like that, it's pretty cool. But yeah, three semis, two of the carry horses, and one carries the wagon and all the harness. Uh, well, there's three hitches, Merrimack, New Hampshire, there's all the East Coast, St. Louis is Central, and then I'm at Fort Collins. So we do all the West. Pretty much I'll travel, be far, far East, I'll travel via New Orleans, which is a great time. We do it all down there. And then um, we go all through Texas, uh, South Padre, uh, Brownsville, El Paso, all over. We have California, San Diego, everywhere. 
All righty. If you guys want to follow Shaney down to our hitch uh, stable, she's going to continue her tour for you. Heckle her. Ask her some questions. Let's see how much she knows about our Clydesdales. <laughs> 